Hey guys, welcome back into another video on the FBTC Rugby channel. And we are back for a new series on the channel today, as you can see when clicked on the name. Round 4 Premiership Team Week. It's a new series I'm bringing on, reviewing the weekend and who I think are best player in my 15. It's not going to be no benches, it's just going to be the best 15 players in each position. So, loose head, hooker, tight head, second row, back row, scrum half, fire half, in tight end, out tight end, and the back three. We're going to get straight into it. Guys, got a microphone coming on the way in the next week. So, for the next video, you'll have a green screen behind me and the microphone. I'm trying to upgrade the content for you guys. First of all, my loose head. Very good. The results were this weekend. Two games cancelled off. Results were... Harlequin, Bristol came back to beat Harlequin in this game. Gloucester, unfortunately, lost. And I think executes were quite poor that weekend. And Northampton beat Worcester quite convincingly. And today I've just seen Wasp versus Hare. And this is why I'm just looking who my best players were. I'm going to look at Narn Lucid. I think Alex Waller with his new F. Thanks, Dreamer, with his new graphics. Alex Waller, what a player. He looks super good. I think they scrummaging one a bit of tight contested and I'm very impressed. My hooker today, returning for Exeter, starting first game since playing for England. I can't look a pass and a guy, Luke Handick, he looked really good. He's looked really good every time he's played and be very impressed with him. Carried well, line out looked solid. My number three is Jeff Tamala Allen. I think what he did around the field. This one, this is guy. I think there's a couple of. There is quite a few Chiefs, um, uh, Wasps, and Bristol players because I think those are the key standings in this weekend. No one particularly on the losing side player. Got a couple of losing players, but knowing massively. Um, I think Tamala and that black front row has a lot of scrummaging in. My second row scored a try. First try for X is Johnny Gray. He does the hard graph so well. Sorry if it's a bit blurry. Um, hopefully, yeah, I think it, I think we, they will get better. I think if Johnny Gray does, it's just probably a week off today. I don't think they were great, but I just think he had the all round game line to do it. I think he tackled well, I think he carried well, did everything the simple stuff well. Um, number five, captain was man of the match today from BT Sport as well. Rolling, well, he looks really good, he looked really good, and that's carried well, tackled well, did. He carried a lot more, did everything well. He got those tacklers and really was a damage of that turnaround in the second half, in my opinion. I think they're really controlled. I think they're really starting to show what they're about, this Wasp team. My back row today, Lua two at six. Sorry, there isn't no seven. Seven, Sam Simmons and eight, Alfie Barr. I move similar to number seven, but again, Lua two, a captain experience behind at halftime, brings that experience from New Zealand and bring into that Bristol team. And Pat Lamb said, you're not coming. You're going back home, back to Bristol. Simple as. And he showed what that mentality at that Bristol team is. He showed that. Um, Sam Simmons, I think, again, eight tries in four games. Unbelievable. Eddie Jones, why are you not picking him? He looks unbelievable. He carries hard. He's got a different type of style. I think he could be a really good seven. But unfortunately, um, the other two are playing really well. I do think, and this is a guy... At number eight, it really continues to impress everyone. Alfie Bari does a bit of footwork on him, carries really hard. I think he could be one for the England squad. And again, he generally really likes him too. Um, at nine and ten is Harry Randall. Harry, I think, controlled that game in that second half, didn't come up, and Pat Lamb knew it. I don't know if Sammy's injured, but I think he showed a bit of maturity there and that at young age he is. And I know there's been really good performances from Spigger, Smith, uh, Atkinson today. But just for his control and game control, I've got to look another guy. He's performing, Joe Simmons. I know some people, oh, he didn't have the best week, but I still think he controlled that game. I don't think Exeter would have won that game without Joe Simmons in that. Just the game control to get his forwards around. That was the most important thing. And Rob Bax got it right. So my centre pairing today is a guy. Two guys, both the Bristol Bears. Piers O'Connor and Sammy Redratra. I There might be some confusion, but I've got someone in the back. I've moved it out to the wing because I don't think in the, we'll go on into it in a minute. And Piers O'Connor, he's is, is such underrated. I think 
Last season, I think he was so underrated by Bristol fans and other Premiership fans. I think he's such a keyhole to the way Bristol play. And I think Sammy, coming back from injury, just shows how what a great player he is. Controls the line, shows what he wants to do in that Bristol shirt and really contributed. it. I think if it clicks, it clicks for Bristol. It doesn't. They have to get that right. I think Piers Connor had a massive incident, again with Lewitton. But Lewitton and Piers Connor are so good in that Bristol. If they don't have them, they're nowhere near as good. Um... And we're going to go on to this back three. I think Sammy controlled, didn't have his best game, but just showed how good he was. I think, and that's why I think you, the, the Stardust, I think he played well, but Stardust, I think it's very good. Um, and then in this back three, Lloyd, Lawrence, Sopwang. I think Sopwang had controlled the game at fullback. And I think that suits him. This type of game suits him at 50 more than it does at 10. I'll speak about. Lawrence in a minute, but Lloyd, I'm going to get on to it. But I think a control, really great off the kicking tee. Didn't miss a game, kick today. Really impressed the way he played. Uh, very impressed. And how how looking. And I think it's something good for the future, I think. What we're going to do. What they're going to do. I think what's a slowly climbing back up. 11, Lloyd just looked really good. Wherever he plays, fly half, centre, full back, wing. He just looks a really versatile, really exploded. He has that line. He's going to be a great player. I think he's going to go to well. But look, he looks amazing, whatever he does. He's he's a very little man, but very strong for his, his uh, size. And that really impressed me too. Really did. Um, I think he could have had a try. Try made a wonderful straight line break for the Queen's defence. He nearly set up, he set up Harry, Harry Reynolds' try. It's very impressive. And then, guys, my explanation in this 14 channel. I didn't see anyone that stood out for me today no, in this weekend. No one stood out for me. So I went for the guy that did stand out on Saturday evening. I think it's Ollie Lawrence. I could have put Sammy on that wing. But as I, I mix around Sammy go 13, I think Ollie Lawrence go 14. I think Ollie's power is offloading ability. And I think that was a good one positive to come out of that game. Worcester, he really sparked that Worcester team into light. Shows how much it misses him when he's away. I think Eddie, I really want to see Slade and Lawrence in the future. Lawrence at 12, Slade at 13. I think they offer control. He looks great player. Runs. That's, and then he has that offloading ability and a bit of footwork. Set up Billy Sell's try. Get that offload to Nick David and Billy Sell in the corner. I think interesting to see they play contrastingly. Guys, and that is it today. Um... We are back for another video uh, soon. Let me know what you think in the description be comments below. I am here, gun guys. Vlog when we eventually go back. So I've got some ideas to, on the channel soon. So make sure you watch out for the coming on. Green screen behind, new effects behind. I'll see you later, guys. Bye.